Hey guys, Alex here with VapePassion.com, and in this review we're going to take a look at Strawberry Custard from Vapecraft Inc. So first I want to mention that Vapecraft Inc. is a budget brand. Their flavors are not comparable to a premium brand. I also wanted to mention that they do publish their ingredients list and they mention that most of their flavors actually contain acetoin and acetylpropanol. None of them contain diacetyl, so that's good, but those other two ingredients are of concern. This flavor, strawberry custard, does contain acetoin and acetylpropanol but I'm going to review it anyway. They do say on their website that they plan to release a second version of their Vapors Anonymous e-liquids that do not contain those flavors. I don't know when that's coming. It's April now, the end of April, and I saw a review on Spin Fuel that mentions the same thing. So it's been at least four months, and I don't know how long it's going to be until they finally release that. It doesn't sound like they plan to release a second version of their Vapecraft Inc. e-liquids. They only mention Vapors Anonymous. This is a Vapecraft Inc e-juice, so just keep that in mind if you order from them. They do have some flavors that don't contain any of these ingredients. Okay, so let's get into the review. So all of the Vapecraft e-liquids cost $3 for a 15 ml bottle, so they're really, really cheap. And you can get a 120 ml bottle for $15. They come in nicotine strengths of 0, 3, 6, and 12, and they are 70 VG, 30 PG. So they describe their strawberry custard as a premium e-liquid flavor that has been infamous in the vape community. Their strawberry custard features a real strawberry taste with delicious notes of vanilla custard. The flavor profile is strawberries and vanilla custard. So I've had this steeping for maybe two, three weeks now, so it should be good to go. I don't know if their flavors even require steeping, but uh, it's just taken me that long to get around to doing this review, so it's just had a chance to steep on its own. So I'm going to be vaping on the IPv4 Mutation XV3, 45 watts. It smells really good. It smells like kind of like Nesquik. Okay, so I got my Mutation X all wicked and juiced up. That's actually pretty good. I do think it kind of tastes like Nesquik. It's more of an artificial flavor than a natural flavor though. Similar to the Vapors Anonymous line, the throat hit is a little harsh, probably the nicotine they're using. But if you can get over the throat hit, it's actually pretty good. All right, let's take a look at some reviews. So I can't find any reviews of this online except for on their own website. So I'm just going to mention three here. This first one is all five stars. And this person says that he's tried several of their other flavors, and although they're good, they do not compare to the rich, pronounced vape of strawberry custard in this one. He also mentions that the smell from the bottle does not do them justice, especially this one. The aroma can come off somewhat strong, almost artificial-like. The taste, however, is anything but. Okay, the next review here says, best vape in the world, seriously. He says it's been impossible to find a strawberry custard that competes with the one he pays $20 for at his local vape shop. He says this flavor is even better has the warm, delicious custard with the sweet strawberry that is not too tart. Oh, and then I did find one review on another website, Daily Vaping News, and this person says that the strawberry custard had him quite surprised. About two-thirds of the way through the inhale, the taste of a real strawberry, not the Kool-Aid kind, hits your taste buds. Then right before you start to exhale, you get a note of creamy custard. Then as you blow out, they both mix quite well, and it really makes you think of a bowl of custard with real strawberries in it. Great for those who like nice mellow flavor with a taste of real strawberry and some creamy custard. So yeah, I think I would agree with those reviews. I don't think it's the best in the world. It's definitely a budget e-juice, but it's pretty good. It's really good for a budget e-juice, I think. Of the two Vapors Anonymous e-liquids that I already reviewed before this one, I probably wouldn't buy those again. They weren't too bad, but I probably wouldn't buy them again. But this one I actually would buy, and for $3 for a 15 mil bottle, I think that's a really good deal. My only recommendation would be to get it in a lower nicotine level than you normally get because the nicotine throat hit from this is so harsh. The flavor in this is actually really good. If it wasn't for the fact that it had acetylpropanil in it and acetoin, I would recommend it. But because it has those ingredients, I personally wouldn't buy it again. But if they remove those ingredients and maintain that flavor, I would definitely buy it again, especially for three bucks. It's a great deal and a really good flavor.